What's the impact of, um, now that we're learning all of this about the brain and what you're saying about the interior court, um, part of the brain? Singulate. Yeah, cortex. and, and uh, like the companies like NeuroFocus with advertising and our brains being manipulated with this type of advertising. What, what, what's the effect of their brain in the future with this being overcharged? Well, we've had no shortage of people who understand all those principles for a long, long time. And often they've made very good livings as charismatic religious leaders and governmental leaders and all that sort of thing. It simply has gotten better and better as a science. Here's a word that should give all of us shivers, um, a new word. It used to be that people would be neuroscientists, but now you could be a neuroeconomist and study human decision-making, economic decision. You can be a neurolinguist. You could be a neurophilosopher. You could be studying neuromarketing. And there are people who now study why Pepsi, people prefer Pepsi, yet because of certain types of advertising, everybody believes they actually prefer Coke until they're even blind. Whoa, let's give them a big grant and do some gene therapy and clone these people and centrifuge all the Pepsi drinkers and we'll understand. And this is like... People are soon going to be making livings uh, understanding how you get marketing things to work on people, and it's not going to be anything new. We've done it forever. It's just going to be more scientific, more syllables in the name. 